Hello and welcome to my third lesson on matrices and transformations. Previously we looked at finding the matrix of, of transformation. We also looked at a single matrix for successive transformations. In this lesson, therefore, um, my objective will be, first one will be to find the inverse of a transformation. Again, we are going to look at uh, the area scale factor and determinant of a matrix. And so let's begin. inverse of a transformation. Uh, let me say this, that if a matrix M maps an object A to A prime, then the inverse of M, normally written as M raised to the power negative one, maps the object, the image A prime back to its object. If a matrix M maps an object A to A prime, then the inverse of that matrix maps the image of A back to its object. That means that inverse of matrix reverses the transformation caused by the same matrix on its object. So it takes back it takes us back from the image to its object. I can say that in a different way, that if a matrix M maps an object A to A prime, and another matrix N maps the, mat the image A prime back to its object, then that other matrix is the inverse of M. In other words, M and N are inverse of each other. Let me say that M times M inverse, sorry, M, a matrix M times its inverse is normally equal to identity matrix. That's one, zero, zero, one. Now I want us to try this question, to, to, to try to cement this concept using um, an example. And so let's consider the following. We are given a triangle PQR, the coordinates are given. We're also given a matrix M, zero, one, negative three, four. I want us to do this. We first of all do a transformation of the triangle PQR using this matrix. Again, look for the inverse of the matrix and transform the image and see if it gets us back to the object. And so let's begin. Now, that is the matrix M, 0, 1, negative 3, 4 times the triangle we were given. It gives us this particular uh, coordinates. Please notice that that is PQR and the other one is P prime, Q prime, R prime. And this is a matrix M. Please verify that by actual multiplication using the knowledge that you have for multiplication of matrices. Now, we now know if we had these figures, if we got these figures, and if we had the inverse of the matrix, and you multiply that with the, ob the image P prime Q prime R prime, that should give us PQR, all right? If we multiply this triangle with the inverse of the matrix that we were given, it should take us back to the image, sorry, to the object. And we're going to determine that. But first of all, we need to look for the determinant so that the determinant guides us into how to get the inverse of the matrix. You can also use any other method to determine the inverse of the matrix. And therefore, determinant of M, we will normally multiply the values in the leading diagonal minus um, the values in the other diagonal. So we're going to have uh, 0 times 4 minus in brackets 1 times negative 3, and the other side will be 3. That's the determinant. Therefore, inverse of M is a third, that's the reciprocal of 3 times, we normally transpose this matrix. So we have this 4 comes to where we have 0, and the 1 and 3, uh, their signs are reversed. For example, this is positive, it becomes negative. This is negative, it becomes positive. And therefore, that's why we have it here. This becomes 4, 0, all right? And this becomes negative, the other one is positive. And so if we multiply that, the inverse of M is 4 over 3 minus the third, 1, 0. That's the inverse. And now we can do what we had been talking about. We now multiply the inverse of the matrix M times the coordinates of the image and see if we get the coordinates of the object. The inverse is 4, 3, negative a third, 1, 0. So it's 4 over 3 minus a third, uh, 1, 0. That one times the coordinates of the image. And if you will multiply this, please pause the video and try it out. You'll get 6, 5, 2, 1, 6, 1. And so that cements the point. That's actually the message I wanted to put across there. That um, the inverse of a matrix of transformation reverses the transformation caused by the same object on its image now back to its object. Please note that um, this matrix, that's the matrix we were given, times its inverse should be the same as the same inverse times the, ob the, ma the matrix and should be equal to the ident identity matrix. That is true for all matrices. And um, I should say that there's another time I mentioned that A times B is equal to 
it's not the same as b times a in matrices but for identity matrix it is true because it equals it's the same as um an identity matrix in both cases and therefore that is something you should notice there another thing i want to mention is that if we don't want to look for the matrix inverse the inverse of the matrix using this particular method i've tried here first of all looking for determinant and multiplying if you don't want to do that we can apply this other concept here we pre-multiply the matrix we were given with say a b c d where a b c d is the inverse of matrix m and we say that that should be equal to the inverse of matrix according to this concept okay we pre-multiply the matrix we were given with a matrix a b c d and we equate that to zero now if we progress use the use um this multiplication we will get before the equal sign minus 3b a plus 4b minus 3d uh, c plus 4d that should be equal to 1001 and again that therefore will mean uh, minus b is equals to 1 all right that's what we have there it will also mean minus 3d is equals to 0 that's what we have there again we have a plus 4d is equals to 0 we also have c plus 4d is equals to 1 and that means that a if you simplify or you solve this these four simultaneous equations you see you'll solve the this and this other one together and this and the other one together the a will be 4 over 3 b will be um negative third c will be 1 and d will be 0. the matrix therefore the inverse of the matrix m which we are looking for and which we have said is a b c d will be 4 over 3 negative a third 1 0. Now this is the matrix we had at the beginning now this brings me to the conclusion of the first half of the lesson and this is the conclusion the inverse of a matrix reverses the transformation represented by the matrix the inverse of a matrix represents um, uh, reverses the transformation represented by the matrix I think now we go to the second half of the lesson area scale factor and determinant of matrix at this point um, I'm going to use an example, but maybe before I go to that, I want to say this. Area scale factor, normally, which is a number, normally we don't consider the negative when it's there. Area scale factor is, we take the number as it is, it is as it is, whether a fraction or whatever it is, but you don't take the negative. Area scale factor is numerically equal to the determinant of the matrix of transformation. That is, if we have transformed an object to its image, the matrix we use to transform the determinant of that matrix is same as the area scale factor of that we now know the area scale factor is normally equal to area of image divided by area of the object okay um and therefore i think we should use an example now to to bring this uh, to a close given the triangle abc with vertices given there draw its image under the transformation m hence or otherwise determine the area scale factor so let's continue with that um we are given the matrix m is a negative 2 1 2 1 now we want to transform this um, we want to transform this um, triangle with this matrix then after that we look for the area scale factor we get the area of the object so the area of the image divided by the area of the object and see if that is um, anywhere related with the determinant of the matrix and therefore we begin plotting this triangle will be simple Mm, this this is it a b c a was uh, 1 3 b is 1 1 and c is uh, 4 1 okay but now we need to get the coordinates of the of the image so i pre multiply the matrix that we're given with the coordinates of the triangle we are given and that gives me a triangle um p uh, sorry a prime b prime c prime which is uh, um, 1 5 negative 1 3 and negative 7 9 all right you can always verify the multiplication now if you plot that the triangle will be this one here a prime b prime c prime it's been transformed in an interesting way we'll look at that in the i think the next lesson we'll be looking at this kind of transformations now at this point because we were told to look for the area scale factor we now get to that area scale factor area scale factor is normally the area of the image divided by the area of the object object the area of our image here is really interesting therefore we are going to have to to be to use um a method let me take you through the method of looking for the area of that 
in a very simple way um, and therefore this is what I want to say we can draw a line like that and then we get to that point we move across sorry ensure that line is straight up to that point and then we go up again up to that point there therefore we have a trapezium let me call it a trapezium um, yes we have a trapezium which goes from the point C all the way down and across to the point B prime and across to this point and up there we have a trapezium there so if you get the area of that trapezium minus the area of a right angle triangle this right angle triangle minus again the area of this other triangle here we get the area of the triangle that you're looking for so please follow that area of this right angle triangle is simple it's just uh, half base times height this length here is i think uh, is it six yes it's six the height is is it uh, nine minus three six again so six times six divided by two that will be 18 the area of this other one will be two times two divided by two which is again two all right so this is um, is it 18 plus 2 20 minus subtract that sum there from the area of the trapezium it's a ha 1 over 2 base length times um, 1 over 2 times um, sorry um, the length of two perpendicular parallel sides sorry this and this one which is 2 plus plus is it 6 2 plus 6 which is 8 and you multiply by the perpendicular distance to the two parallel sides get the area if you get the area of that it the area of the numerator is I think 12 that's the area of the object image is 12 the area of the 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 area of the object is 3 this is a 2 times 3 times a half which is 6 over 2 which is 3 therefore the area scale factor is is 4 please find out how to get that you can use another concept to find to establish the areas of the two so the area of the um the area scale factor is 4 that is the area of the image divided by the area of the object if it is 4 we wonder is that related with the determinant of the matrix and therefore as we get to that we want we, we look for how that is related with the determinant determinant and now to get the determinant we first of all need to look for um we multiply the leading diagonal minus the other one there so that will be minus two times one minus in brackets two times one the answer is again negative four and that tells you that the absolute value of the determinant is four absolute value of the determinant is four absolute means we ignore the negative we talk about what actually is it ignoring the negative the answer is four and that equals the area scale factor and so we have established a conclusion for this particular lesson and this is what i wanted to say all times we are transforming an object to its image the determinant of that matrix of transformation should be equal to um, the area scale factor of of the transformation that is if you get the area of the object sorry area of the image divided by the area of the object that should give you area scale factor and that equals to the determinant of that matrix of transformation that brings me to the end of my lesson today um, please check out the next lesson for um, mm, the next one will be about shear and stretch and then we'll look at some KCC standard questions <laughs>